Our next speaker is a local naturopathic medical doctor born and raised in Santa Barbara. She's committed to medical freedom and practicing medicine with integrity. Please help me in welcoming to the stage Dr. Alexandra Engel, AKA Dr. Ace. Hey, Santa Barbara. All right, like she said, I am born and raised in this beautiful community, and I love this community with all my heart. I have lived in a bunch of other countries, and I always knew this is where I would come back to, I would have my practice, and I would build a family. And I am so incredibly excited to have you here, and that we are one of six cities in the state of California to be putting on this event today. Right. We are small, but we are mighty, and I am so proud to be part of you. I'm a naturopathic medical doctor, and I never wanted to be a doctor. I didn't grow up with a, a med kit. I didn't have the little stethoscope and play with my mom. I wanted to become a lawyer. I wanted to fight. Uh, and then I realized that I needed to be able to make concrete change. I wanted to work one-on-one -on -one with people because I wanted to work from the ground up, not the top down. And what I believe in and why I'm here today is because I believe in freedom of choice, I believe in bodily autonomy, and I believe in informed consent. And nowadays, unfortunately, in the medical profession, that has become a rarity, and I am ashamed. I am ashamed of a lot of my colleagues that aren't willing to take a stand for their patients. I'm not doing this because it's easy. Nothing in medicine ever is easy. If you're better, yay. If you're worse, it, it's all our fault, right? It is a litigious business, right? But I experienced health issues and I know what it's like to feel better and so I want that for everyone and I believe everyone deserves that. The challenge that we're running into nowadays is a challenge of information, right? You need to get information so you can make informed decisions. So do your doctors. But what information are they getting to lead them to the decisions that they're making for your health care, right? They're giving you already formed thoughts and decisions without inviting you into the medical decision-making process, right? And, and it takes time. I'm blessed that in my practice I have time to spend with my patients because otherwise I'd have to be a dictator if I had 30 seconds with you, right? So what I need all of you to do is to take a stand for your own health and to work with people that are willing to support you in that, right? Because just like lawyers are fighting, there are doctors fighting too and we need more of them, right? We need them to take a stand really amongst all medical, well, amongst all professions, but right now more doctors and more, more lawyers can really get things done. So all of you are here, I hope, because you do your own independent research. So now, in terms of your healthcare decisions, please make sure that you are taking that to your doctors, right? They might not be the ones telling you about options for your care, but please tell them, right? I get a lot of patients that come to me and say, yo, I went to this other doctor and told them what's happening and they want more information, right? You can help the medical profession evolve, right? Because they're not gonna get it in conventional channels. We know this, right? I'm a naturopathic medical doctor. I'm blessed to have had a more broad education that helped me not get rammed into a pharmaceutical only mindset. I will always be grateful for that and that's why I chose it, right? So for all of you, please take what you want, what your choices are, what your health paradigm is and try to change things from the inside because what you want, what you need, that can have an effect, right? If you guys are within insurance model care and you feel like they don't care about you, use your voice, use social media, use ways to help make them accountable, right? This is no longer a time for comfort and to feel okay and be worried about rattling feathers, is it? No, this is a time to take a stand and make people uncomfortable and push for what is right. Nobody's here because it's easy.
right? We could all be on the couch at home, playing with our dogs, having a barbecue, you know, but we're here because we're taking a stand and I am so grateful for all of you for that. My ask is for you to do that in every aspect of your lives, including your health care. So in terms of information, right, we know that we're not being told the whole truth, right? We know that there's insane censorship, right? I didn't even know, but Justin mentioned you can't say ivermectin on YouTube in California. Since when did any medical treatment become taboo to talk about, right? This is true. This is true, right? But I, I, I love California. You guys are probably all here because you absolutely love California, right? We're here because we want to make change from the inside out. We're not willing to flee to Texas or Arizona because it's easy, right? Because there would be more like-minded people that are willing to take a stand for individual freedoms. We're here because we want to empower everybody else to realize that you have a choice. Right? And you need to respect other people's choice. Right? That's our biggest fundamental issue. So if you get bullied by anyone, especially a doctor who doesn't respect your choice, please walk away and please help educate them. Right? Because that's, that's, that's what all of us have to do. So in terms of education and in terms of what's going on, there are so many lies that people are being told about what's happening. Right? Lies about how our immune system works, lies about how experimental therapies work, lies about treatments working or not working. And I get a lot of patients that come to me really confused because they don't know what's true and what's not true. And that's part of the paradigm to confuse people. Right? So we all know that our bodies are amazing. Right? Who here has profound respect for their body? Yes! Right? We are so incredibly amazing and our bodies are designed to heal. We just need to help them, right? And we have so much data that tells us what our risk factors are for disease nowadays. And the vast majority are obesity, lifestyle, toxicity, just not taking care of yourself, right? So all of us here, I hope that you all have walked away from this fear of catching something, the fear of your neighbor, sneezing on you, the fear of someone else harming you, and I hope that you're able to take responsibility for your own health and take action, right? Because that's what we all can do. We are here because we believe in our individual rights, but with rights come responsibility, right? So I often get, you know, I had a patient in the office last week, Doc, you look so healthy, as if she were surprised, right? It's it's become not normal nowadays for overworked, overstressed doctors to be able to take care of themselves. It's a running joke. How many hours did you work this week, doc? Right? That's not good enough. Right? I have to take care of myself so that I can take care of other people, and that's what we all have to do. Right? So my ask is take care of yourself. Help educate your doctors, help educate other people, because when your friends see you, when you're healthy, right, they want to know what's going on. They want to know what, what are you doing? Or if they're not asking, invite them in subtle ways to participate in what you're doing so that they can start to learn to take responsibility for themselves, because that's a powerful thing. And that's the only way that we're going to make change here. So I'm so grateful all of you being here. I'm not going to go into what's causing this, what's in what, right? Because at this point, I'm hoping everybody knows that. These are toxins being forced upon us, and we're saying no, right? We're saying if you want to do it, go ahead, but you can't make me do something to my body that I don't want to do, right? And you have a duty to tell me what the risks are, you're not, so I'm not gonna acquiesce. That's where we're at at this point, right? So please take actions in your own individual lives to empower your health, not because it's easy, but because it is right, right? I can't tell you how many people say, oh, it's just so much easier if I take it, or, oh, I'm just gonna wear my mask for this one time because they're making me. Right? We're, we're past that because how many months are we into this insanity? 
right? We can't keep perpetuating that every little bit is okay and it's just this, it's just this one thing. The only way we can start to move, make change is by saying no and not acquiescing, right? And we have Rhonda, she's a lawyer, she's making change, she's saying no. Some of you might be thinking, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, how am I gonna do this? Well, we have power in numbers, right? Justin saying, you know, stand up Santa Barbara, we can all come together and do this. Rhonda will support you, I'll support you. We have people in this community that can bring expertise, but again, we need numbers because none of us can do it by ourselves. So, thank you so much Santa Barbara, I'm proud to be among you. Thank you for coming. Thank you Dr. Ace, and she's gonna be at the Ask the Doctors booth, so you guys can go pick her brain some more if you want. She's amazing, she can go on forever, she's awesome.